Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of Quote Center. Quote Center is an application that allows us to get real time news, streaming quotes, understand what's happening with sectors, industry groups, and also be able to identify changes and trends in the market. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started and look at the, demo at the presentation today. First off, what we need to do is actually cover a disclaimer. These workshops instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins and are not a recommendation to buy or to sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented at the workshop should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Equus shall have no liability for any investment decision based on the use of their software, trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about um, where Quote Center comes from. As I mentioned before, Quote Center is a program that gives us real time news, streaming quotes, and gives us a lot of information that we're going to go into today. Quote Center actually comes to us from Reuters. Reuters is actually the parent company of Equus International. And uh, Basically, the goal of Reuters is actually, one, people know, know Reuters for their news. It's incredibly fast, accurate, and very reliable. But what you may not know is they're also very well known for providing real-time data out to the institutional space. And now we're able to provide it into the retail space into the, for the non-professional investor. So as you can see here, Reuters is a global information company provided, providing indispensable information tailored for professionals in the, me in the financial services, media, and corporate markets. The information is trusted and drives decision making across the globe. We have a reputation for speed, accuracy, and freedom for bi from bias. So this, you can, just looking at this, this is actually what Quote Center is all about. S real time, very accurate, and very good information. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to talk about what Quote Center offers. Market Watch, first off, which is uh, the first thing we're actually going to talk about today, offers over 700 different data fields of information. And this is data that's streaming into the program. The next thing we're going to talk about is real-time Reuters news. Fundamental information, we give you 23 years of fundamental data. You get charting and analysis tools within Quote Center. You get real-time data for stocks, futures, forex, options, indexes. Of course, mutual funds aren't real-time, but that data is provided as well. And then we have worldwide data options. You can get data for just about anywhere in the world. So let's talk about some of the different things within Quote Center and what you're going to see as we go through the presentation. First off, uh, we see here Front Page. And Front Page is actually a program that is designed to give you real-time um, updated news. So you can actually get streaming news. You're going to be able to see stories based off of different categories. And we'll go through these in a few moments, all these different sections and strategies. We'll be talking about Market Watch, which is the, the program that offers us 700 different data fields of information. Analytics, which helps us look at sectors and industry groups, understands the t help us understand the technicals of stocks and what's help happening behind them. Also get our fundamental, fundamental information. Athena is actually where we're going to get our charting and analytics. And Newswatch is going to be our streaming news, as we can watch each story come in throughout the day. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into Quote Center and walk through the program just a little bit. Okay, so as I'm here in, in Quote Center, we're going to start off with Front Page. And Front Page, again, is where we're going to see categorical news. So you can see across the top here we have Front Page, which is what we're looking at right now, which gives us top news, what's happening right now. So you can see here... Uh, these stories, you can click on any of the stories, get the full news story, so we can know what's happening behind that story, which is something that's very nice, because you don't always get the full news story with some of the different uh, news productions. You only get just the headlines. Okay, So we can actually go through and break it into whatever category we want. And that was actually uh, me clicking on fixed income. Okay, So I can go to health, commodity and energy news. Commodity and energy news is one of the big highlights of Reuters. If you're trading commodities or energy and you're trading news, Reuters beats the market 7 out of 10 times to, uh, for that. So if you're, really, if you're getting and you're trading off of news, this is going to be indispensable for you. Up here, you can go into foreign exchange if you're trading uh, just currency pairs. This is really good information for you. It also gives you feedback. It gives you all these different things on here. Okay. 
I can come up here and click on US equity news. If you want to know what earnings reports are coming up, what's happening in different sectors, what's happening with earnings, you can come in here and just go into all these different categories and get all these news releases. Let's say I want to see non-farm non payroll. I can come in here and see that information. I want to see what's happening with earnings, earnings calendars. Let's see what's coming up with earnings. So we can go in here and I can see all the different earnings that are coming up. Okay, what their estimates are, how many different estimates there are, what their earnings were a year ago. Okay, so all this is available just by the clicking a button for you. Okay, so that's kind of a, just a quick overview of front page. Front page is really designed to help you just see that quick categorical news. And we'll get more into news in a few moments. But next, let's jump over into Market Watch. And Market Watch is kind of the, the heart and core of Quote Center, giving you real time streaming quotes, as you can see here. We're actually looking at a, a live market right now, recorded, obviously, for you. But uh, what you can see here are a couple things. First off, to the side here, you're going to notice first off, we have our symbol. And then you're also going to notice these different letters over here. And I'm just going to come up here to help really quick and hit indicator legend. Okay, these are actually all the different things that will highlight on over here in this news as you're going through it. So if I see N, we have that means we have news. Let me just scroll down a little bit over here. So you can see a G here, that means that we had a gap on that stock. If I pull this indicator legend up again, you can see the G for gap. And so you can have all these different things. Okay, so if I click on that, first off, I can actually get all the news for that particular stock. Okay, I clicked on Microsoft, so this is all the up-to-date news for Microsoft coming in right here. Okay, now, so as we move through this, again, we have symbol. We have our last sale. We have all these different categories, net, percent change, three month percent change. And I can rank on any of these categories. Okay. So I can see right here. So right now the top percent change is a 1.9%. But you, what you actually see here is you actually will see over here fundamental information as well. But there's actually over 700 different data fields of information here. So if I actually come in here and go template edit. These are all the different data categories that I can actually add in to my market watch. Now, 700 different data fields of information can be a bit overwhelming. But the thing is, is if you're looking for a bit of information, it's probably located in here. If you're not going to use all this information, it's just going to be something that's going to be available to you. So for example, let's say I wanted alerts for gaps. Let's put a gap in here and let's find. So I put gapped and I'm just going to double click this to add it up here. And I'm just going to drag it kind of up to the top so I can see it. I'll hit OK. So now you can see this gapped and it'll give me those alerts for gapped. Okay, I didn't have any examples of that so I didn't get any results. So let's go ahead and, and uh, move on here. I'll just kind of delete that one.